Welcome to another Matt Cook Oregon video. Today we are exploring Samuel H. Boardman Scenic Corridor. This is a 12 mile long linear state park on the southern coast of Oregon. It features secluded beaches, epic viewpoints, and many hikes. Going from north to south, the first stop is going to be Arch Rock. This is a park-in viewpoint with no hike. The beaches here are kept preserved because they are so far from the parking lot. Less people means less junk. There are so many sights to see at Sam Boardman. I think viewing everything in a day is a bit of a stretch, but for this video we attempted to do just that. The next stop is Thunder Rock Cove, also known as Secret Beach. We parked at alternate Secret Beach trailhead. This is one of the longer hikes down to the beach. Longer hikes are typically more rewarding. We had the whole beach to ourselves. I was more interested in secluded spots like this rather than the popular and crowded viewpoints. Sam Boardman is known to have a good variety of rocks, including jasper, quartz, agate, and petrified wood. Next up is the most popular spot on Sam Boardman, Natural Bridges. This is another viewpoint that does not require a hike. You can hike down to get closer. We only did a quick visit because this one is already so well known. The next spot is Thomas Creek Bridge. This is the highest bridge in Oregon. You can hike down to the beach to view the bridge or walk along it. It is a bit dangerous to walk along as it's right on the highway with no divider. The next stop is Indian Sands. This has some of the longer hikes available and the trails can be a bit of a maze. Here evidence has been found of human activity from over 10,000 years ago.
The next stop is Whales Head Picnic Area. This is one of the few beaches that you can drive directly to. Because of that, the beach is way more crowded. It was still a great place to relax and have lunch at. We skipped Whale's Head Viewpoint, there wasn't much to see there. Next up is House Rock. This plaque is a memorial to Samuel H. Boardman, the first Oregon Park Superintendent. He worked to preserve some of Oregon's great natural features. We had to skip Cape Ferrello as it was a longer hike and we were running out of time. The final stop is Lone Ranch Picnic Area. This is another crowded beach that you can park right at. Thank you for checking out Samuel H. Boardman's Scenic Corridor with me. Please comment any Oregon spots you would like explored in future videos.